this time I'm going to actually look at a series of strokes for going sideways and each of them has advantages we often combine them but let's get going so the first one is I'm going to do a very straightforward draw stroke and I need to turn my chest and in fact normally in the canoe I'm going to move my knee slightly to make life easier and I'm going to look in that direction but the important thing is to move the chest around and the very first one is very straightforward very simple reach out and the important thing with this one is that I'm pulling through with the bottom hand but at the same time I'm pushing with the top hand there's a little trick here if you grip the top of the paddle you can't really push so as you do the push outwards I just relax this hand and that enables me to get a much more powerful push and the way I get the paddle from the water is to get it to here and then slash backwards it's quite windy here so it gives the impression actually the boat's moving forwards with the little ripples but because I'm being hit by the wind I'm having to vary that draw stroke considerably pulling into different places on the boat to try and keep it straight and this basic form stroke works even when you're moving so here the sort of rock dog or whatever I need to do on a river or any context I can actually pull the boat sideways quickly and then get on with my forward paddling so let's look at a add-on to that stroke and the add-on will work when we start in stationary and we move if we're traveling forwards this next thing will not work we need to go back to the basic stroke but here we are again the move to the side but now we're going to slice the blade back through the water And the important thing here is this top hand, but this thumb, if it was extended, would be facing the way of the slice. So it's a pull in, turn, so the thumb is towards the slice, slice out and pull. And the reality of that is the pull is quite steady, so I'm gripping the water. It's the boat moving to the blade. And then to come back through the water, quick turn, slice out. But important point all the time, is actually we're pulling the boat to the blade there's always a variation in the stroke when you pull back in but when it gets windy you have to vary that quite a lot to keep on course very importantly we can do the opposite of the draw stroke and use the pry stroke we use the same slice but this time going back in under the boat but the thumb on the slice still faces outwards and we leave her off the side to get the power that we need. And the final stroke that I'm looking at, and we're going to look at using it on both sides of the boat, is a sculling draw, and in which case, let's choose a face, easy for me, I've got my name and a logo on that side, and that face is always going to be towards the boat. But as it goes forward, the leading edge is there, twist leading edge there and it's traveling pretty well along a line in the water and a constant pressure on the blade pulls the boat towards it if I want to go the other way another little trick is if I move my knees around I can take the paddle across without switching hands and just do the same stroke there I have to move my knees to make that work get going and into the sculling draw I normally will use an ordinary draw stroke just to get the momentum of the boat there and then I'll switch into the sculling draw. If you can do it on one side you can just switch the knee position and chest position and without switching hands 
the skull on the other side. In a safe place, you can try the stroke with your eyes closed. This really emphasises the feel of the thing. Take it slowly, take it quietly. Not normally in the list of strokes, but you could try a reverse skull. Again, it's just playing with a blade and getting used to it. When you're first learning this, very often uh, other people will tell you to look where you're going. Don't look at the stroke, look where you're going. So once you've done your initial practice, give yourself a target. You could choose somewhere on the bank, or in this case I've thrown in a ball, could be a twig, but something to give direction to your practice. And you don't use these strokes just for going sideways, but to turn the boat, or even correct it, at front and at the back. And it's well worth putting this variation into your practice. And a little shout out to my daughter Maya, who helped me filming both from the land and on the water. That's it. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.